Hello, Patrick here. And Michelle here of Leather by Dragonfly. Today we're going to go over how to condition your leather items. I'll be conditioning my leather shop apron. And I'm going to be conditioning the fine leather handbags that we make. Let's get started. It's not hard. We're going to use the applicator pad that comes with the product that we sell. These are cotton applicator pads. If you don't have a cotton applicator pad, you could use a old t-shirt or a cotton rag. So put it right onto the applicator, not onto the product. That way you don't get too much in one area. I'm just using small circles, rubbing the conditioner into the leather. So do not be afraid to go right over the rivets, right over the logo, over snaps and zippers. Make sure you get the seams. You so. can really see the luster of the leather come back. All the wrinkle marks and the scratches from barbed wire are coming to life again. So as you can see, this is not hard to do, but it really um, gives a longer life to your leather item. One of the questions that we often get asked is, how often should I clean or condition my apron? And you should clean and condition it as often as it needs. Whenever you feel like it's dry, more so probably in the winter months when there's less humidity in the air and just like your hands get dry or chapped, so does the leather. So probably more so in the winter and as often as needed. And you are going to do the smooth side of the leather. Do not do the fuzzy side of the leather. So that would be all of the pockets and the straps. And on this bag, it's going to be the straps, this whole outer area. And then don't forget the interior pockets and like this one has a zipper area, you're gonna do this whole area. And the way to do the straps is um, conditioner right onto the applicator, and then you're gonna sandwich the strap right between it. And that way you're gonna do the front and the back. This would be the purses and the aprons. So now that I've conditioned my apron, I'm gonna take a regular boot brush and just give it a buff. This will bring out the luster, give it a little shine, kind of work it in. Also, it'll take on any conditioner that's trapped in the welt of the leather pockets and just clear it out and buff it in. So we have used in the previous video, the cleaner. This one was the conditioner. And then we do carry a healing balm also. I wanted to show you what that looks like. It's thick, kind of like a Vaseline. This is for a leather item that has not been conditioned in a long time. This is extra strength, so kind of bring it back to life a little bit quicker. So that's not a maintaining conditioner. That's if you want to get it back up to speed and then you're going to maintain conditioning it. Well, that concludes our video on how to condition your leather items. We hope you enjoyed it. And that wasn't hard. We hope you got some tips and tricks from it. I'll leave a link in the description for the products. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and Michelle and I will answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you maintained with conditioning this could be the winkus link the winkus link <laughs> yes of your leather winkus. item the conditioner and there is a healing balm just wanted to open this one up and show it. it's kind of like vaseline it's a little bit thicker this would be for an item <laughs> conditioning <laughs> what didn't you like my middle finger no you dropped it and this is empty i can't get it i'm shaking it like <laughs> I won't like this. I know, because no we've conditioned 14 times for three days now.